Welcome to the next video and we're going to look at cephalopods um, the nautilus shells and the argonautilus shells and we'll have a look at some specific shells in a moment and we're also going to look at some fossil shells the ammonites and nautilus amongst the fossils and I'll just go back here and quite a few other fossils just over here all right so let's start with the living nautilus shells um, most of these come from Northern Australia and Indonesia. Um, Pompilius, um, the largest shell there is 24 centimetres and the second largest is 23. Um, so my biggest ones are just there. Some smaller ones there. Um, and there's a, a well-known uh, variety, Scrobocalatus, another well-known variety there, Stenomphalius, the Pertus I'm calling that, some smaller shells there down to those small ones there with those nice little openings there which is quite typical of the small ones and then some others so interesting variety of uh, there i'm not sure how many species there are amongst that lot i would suggest at least four possibly as many as um, half a dozen all right let's now have a look at the argonautas and the largest one, of course, is the Argos. And the largest Argo there is just on 20 centimetres. And the next one is just on 18. And then we have Nordosa, and that largest Nordosa is 18 centimetres. So quite a few Nordosa there. They've been collected from uh, southern New South Wales, Victoria, Tasmania. Is where I've collected those from. Then we've got a group of hyans down here. That largest one there is just over 11 centimeters. Some other hyans there and they've been separated into at least three different species. I'm not sure there may be two amongst what I have, have in my collection. Uh, and then we've got uh, what I'm calling Grunerai there. And also those little ones there. And I think that one, because of its distinct shape, is a small specimen of Argo. All right, so beautiful lot of shells, great excitement. I remember when I found my first paper nautilus, how excited I was and amazed that it actually had withstood pounding waves um, of the ocean and was still intact. Sometimes not entirely intact. There's an example of one that's a bit, was battered around a bit, but just about all the others there are what I would consider perfect gem shells. All right, let's have a look at some of the fossils. That's a local one um, that's occasionally found at a place called Gun Point. You'll often find different fossilized um, shells and other things uh, there as well. So I'll just show, I don't know much about the fossils, apart from the two I just showed you. 
uh, the rest of these were given to me. But it's nice to put them amongst all my cephalopods. And then we'll go down and have a look at this lot here. Some lovely half shells there. And then some lovely whole shells down in this section here. The vast majority of those, I believe, are from Madagascar.